Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Now, last night when I put out a video, I told you all that I would be putting out a video uh, with some of my ideas about what it's going to take to take this country back and to change the uh, way things are going because we're basically destroying ourselves. So, and I don't want anybody to think that I have all the answers because I certainly don't. There's, there's too many factors to consider. But I'm looking at the overall picture, and first point is, is your voting system is fucking fraudulent, it's invalid, and it doesn't work. What is my proof? Well, we've had the same system since the beginning, and look at where we are now. Uh, repetition of the same actions result in the same result, and without changing it, you, know, you define yourself as insane. So, there you go. Enough said about that. The first thing I would do... Uh, which I don't take part in the system anyway. Like I said, it's fraudulent. Your vote, you can't prove your vote is counted, or if it is counted, who it's counted for. So I, I don't vote. And for those of you that say, well, then you don't have a say in it, yes, I do. The Creator gave me this earth, not the fucking politician. So I do have a say, whether I vote or not. Okay? And I'm not going to take part in it. I, I, I won't. Um, what I think we should do to begin with, uh, is to boycott voting for a president at all. I think it's time our fucking governors of each state stand up and take this country back. I think our governors stand up and march with us on Washington to arrest Barack Obama, the entire Senate, Congress, any of the fucking current politicians that are there, bring them up on charges, and sort that out in a trial. In the meantime, there should be no president. The governors of the United States of America should form uh, a judging system. They, they should be our leaders for an interim period until we sort out this mess. Now, is that going to happen? No. Because first of all, you don't have enough balls to stand outside your state capitol and demand that your governor support you. You, you, don't, you don't have, most of you don't, won't, you don't have the time. You, you don't think it'll work. You don't, you, maybe you don't even see a problem. So that's probably not going to happen. Now, what are your choices, Obama and Romney? I've heard so many people say, well, I'm going to have to vote for uh, Romney because of this and because of that. Listen, when you say, I have to vote for something because of something else, you're not free. You're not free. That's fucking insanity. I'm going to cut my balls off because it's better than shooting myself in the head. What are you fucking... Come on. Come on. And you're, you're going to succumb to that, and you're going to take part in that? Then you're guilty of that. That, 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 that. As simple as that. Okay. Now, so, if this did work, and, and the governors all marched on Washington with the people, and arrested the current regime, and took this country back, what would that mean for the people in each state? You would have to become responsible for yourselves and your community. That means you that has would have to give to the person down the street that does not. Are most Americans willing to do that? You gripe about the fucking taxes because you won't, you know, you're, you're taxed because you won't do it yourself. And a society cannot exist if, if everybody isn't fed, if everybody isn't housed, if the elderly aren't cared for. As a human being, you have a fucking responsibility to take care of the person that cannot. Now, I know there's many, many people that are abusing the system. Well, if we brought this down to a state level, to a community level, we'd have more control of keeping an eye on who's doing what and whether they're worthy of the uh, community support, the community monies. Now, I'm not for one person working their fucking ass off while another one sits around and does nothing. I'm not saying that. But the person that is mentally incapable of working should be supported. We have, a, a, I think, a responsibility to take care of them. We have a responsibility to take care of our elderly. Um, we need to keep an eye on these people, sure. If the community is going to help feed this family, and we see the, the father of the family sitting around in the easy chair drinking beer. He doesn't get anything. He doesn't get anything. We, we need to keep an eye on each other. We need to keep each other in check. Will anybody do that? Hell no. No. 
No. My ideas won't work because we're all selfish and greedy and, yes, lazy. Now, even those of us that, that work full-time, we're still lazy. We're still lazy. We're still greedy. We're still whores. Face it. Put yourself in check. Before you can correct the fucking system, you've got to correct yourself. That's going to be the first step. Do I see any of this happening? No. I see this country coming into uh, annihilation, basically. Um, the other thing to consider here is it, not just our money and political system, but the changes that are going on in the earth. Everybody's waiting for a false flag, a nuclear attack, martial law, etc., etc. And while they have you just, you know, spun out on the propaganda from the mainstream media, and even the stuff that's online, even the stuff that's truthful, there's so much of it you're fucking spun out. You, you can't fathom everything that's going on. You have no time to research it and prove anything. We'll each pick it a few parts. We'll each know a little bit. But nobody's getting the full picture. Nobody. We have to consider the Earth changes and the changes in space that are going on. There's so much that pe people don't even recognize. Now, it's sad enough that we don't even know what's going on in our own country. How the fuck can those same sheep-like, fluoridated people even consider what's going on in space? Did most of you know the Earth used to be on a nine-month cycle? That's right, nine months it took to go around the sun some time ago. And I don't have the exact data, but I remember reading it, and I believe it. So, as the Earth changes and the space changes, that also affects our money system. Because when earthquakes happen and there's devastating fires like what's going on in Co Colorado right now, that all sucks out of our money system. If we weren't reliant on a money system, then, then it wouldn't be such a bother. If we were bartering, if we were working together as a community, as a country, fully supporting each other, fully keeping each other in check, these earth changes and other things would have less of an impact on our society. But most of you don't even look up into the sky. And me, myself, I, I don't really think we should spend any money looking out into space. We can't feed the people that are here on earth. We have no business traveling out there. We have no business doing any of that. I guess what I'm saying is hang on to your fucking asses. Because with as many good ideas as we all have, even if we put them together, we're a day late and a dollar short. The best thing you could do right now is set your mind on an end time scenario, being ready to change from the current system to a system that is more Indian-like and more, uh, I don't, Mad Max-like in the blink of an eye. You're going to have to change. The best thing you can do, honestly, is to prepare your children. Now a lot of the things you're going to have to teach them are horrifying. You have to go forward with a gentle hand, but you have to inform them of the changes that are going on in the country, in the political system, the money system, and the earth changes. You have to. Some of it's going to be scary for them. You judge your own child and, and proceed accordingly. I'm not saying flood them with information and horrify them so they're depressed and have no hope, but educate them. Now, the governments of the world keep truth from us because someone might get scared, someone might overreact. Let me tell you something. You cannot justify a lie for any reason in any situation, period. Lies destroy. And if you start lying to your children, why would they ever trust you? Why would they ever listen to you? You might have to give them some hard facts, but when they know that you told them the truth, you're going to create a bond stronger than anything you've ever known. I guess what I'm saying is uh, that there isn't a lot of hope. I see end time prophecies coming before my very eyes. I'm not going to debate the Bible. I know that it's been twisted by man, but I also know the core value of it is a spiritual connection. When you pick up that book and you begin to read and, and you have an honesty in your heart and you want to understand what created this and you want to live in truth and love and peace, then you will understand things. And some of you might say, well, Kevin, you're very vulgar. How, how can you say that you want to live in love and truth and peace? Because it's enough of the bullshit, okay? 
I don't have to watch my language now because I, I know that kind words and flashy smiles are what subdued you into your sheep-like slumber. I swear out of love for you. I rant and rave out of love for you. Whether you can believe that or not, I don't really care at this point because I can't save everybody. Nobody can save everybody. Many are going to die. But it's what happens to them when they die that I'm more concerned with. The best thing you can do right now, you're not going to change the political system. Any possibilities are impossible at this point. Set your heart right. Set your family right, individually. And when the shit hits the fan, be ready to work with your neighbor. Be, be ready to give what you have and only take what you need. Because anything short of that is going to mean your death and your family's death. Plain and simple. Well, there's an overview of what I think. But I do think that we should start with our governors. And I want to point out one more thing. Before the Occupy movement started, the Anonymous put out a video, or someone Anonymous put out a video, calling for everybody to occupy a federal space until Ben Bernanke stepped down. Do you fucking people really think that Ben Bernanke is ever going to step down no matter what you say or what you think? Fuck no. He can have you killed. He doesn't care what you think. He doesn't care if you're trampling your public parks and causing a public fucking nuisance. All that does is make his money more valid. The more we spend, the more he earns. Didn't you hear the man say just six or eight months ago that he would keep interest rates low for the next few years? Didn't you understand that with him saying that, that is proof that one man controls your money? It's the end of the line, folks. And I suggest you get yourself right. Anyway, there's my thoughts. In the meantime, if you're on Twitter, please support Op Stop the Bullshit hashtag. Keep sharing information. Keep doing what you can do. Keep waking the sheep. And, and it'll come clear to you when you talk to some people that there's no way anything you say is going to change them at all. I had that circumstance yesterday when I delivered a washer and dryer. I tried to talk to the people. And I left knowing that they were sheep-like. I didn't push them too far, but they had a little boy about four years old. And I had already suggested that they start growing food. They had some area, nice little house uh, by suburbanite standards and um, they had a place that they could be growing food and they were not. I recommended that they did and one of the responses I got from the husband was that he thought about living off-grid but it was just too hard and my heart sunk. But then just before we left I said to him, teach that son of yours how to grow some food and he said I will. Now maybe they'll run down to the Home Depot and grab one tomato plant and it'll be fun and neat just to grow a plant. But at least the little boy will be taught how to grow some food. That's what we got to focus on as our younger generation. Not, not the current status quo or the current affairs because they've got you spun out. They got you chasing your fucking tail and they've got you fighting amongst yourselves. Focus on those kids. Prepare them, educate them, teach them. Just do your best and hang on to your ass, that's all I can say. <laughs>